Baki. Yeah, we're watching Baki. Huge mistake setting foot in this uh, house. Have you ever seen Baki, Kiri? No. So, Ben of the Sage did a review of some Baki stuff. Specifically... I don't uh, watch him. That's fine. I'm going to explain but it. Is Baki is the best at the underground martial arts tournament ring. Uh, he okay, is the so best. Okay, so kind of like a fight club thing. Yes. It's an official underground tournament. Uh, he is the best at it. He can take on really bullshit powerful people that have, you know near supernatural levels of martial arts. His dad is similarly bullshit, even more bullshit. To put this in perspective, uh, America was thinking about using a third nuke in this universe just for his grandfather. Because of how okay. fucking creepily powerful the dude was. Uh, this comes up in the fact that Baki's dad can drag his finger across glass and cut it like a glass cutter. So, you know, take a glass table, you know, like several inches thick, drags his finger across it, and it cuts. Like, this is the type of bullshit martial arts we're dealing with. It's silly. Uh, it takes itself very seriously. It's 90s, 80s stuff. It's fun. Uh, and Baki's entire goal is to beat or get acknowledged by his dad. Be and this is all over the first few arcs, basically. And I mention this because... The new anime series is continuing where the old anime series left off. The old anime series left off uh, right before this arc began. Because the old anime series ends after Baki's first fight with his dad. Where Baki's dad kills Baki's mom. And what's the name of this anime series? Baki. Baki? Not the one we're going to watch. I'm talking about the one before. The, that was Kengen Ashura. The other one was Kangan Ashura, real girl. I'm just clarifying because, you know, these are things you wouldn't necessarily known uh, going in. So, yeah, Baki's already proven himself to be really badass. Some of these characters have already been established, but they will go over them a bit with uh, everything to make sure you're up in the know-how. But doing this now, make sure that you get some of this ahead of time. Oh, so Baki's a sequel to the one that we just saw that said they had part two out. No, it's not. It's a different one, Wheel Girl. Uh, different series. Confusing me. No, I, there's just two different fighting series. Okay, maybe out there. Never mind. Yep. Yeah, uh, I think, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Tiny. but yeah, this arc is the, what is it, whatever it's called, but it's an arc built around five criminals all wanting to come fight somebody in particular, i.e. Baki, because he's so strong. And a bunch of other characters that become majorly important to the plot start showing up. And old opponents for Baki show up, etc. To try and help. It's very shown in that regard. And you can see just how brutal the fights are. Uh, also, this is a Netflix original that mixes traditional animation with CG stuff. Uh, which will come up. And the guy that Baki is flexing on there is his uh, half-brother Jack. Is Jack his half-brother or full-brother? In mm. the opening. I forget which he is, but he's, he's Baki's brother is the important thing. The ones who first noticed and understood what was happening what? What's going on? were his classmates. Why am I shaking? Um, sir... May I please go down to the nurse's office? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing with her? Do you feel like you can't wait any longer? It started when I walked in here. Me too. It's not from being cold. All those who can't stop shaking, raise your hands. All of you? Not quite. 
boy. It isn't everybody. Look who's asleep. Uh, what? Oh yeah, his last name's Hanma. Fucking Hanma. These delinquents possess a strong self-preservation instinct, much like being able to survive in the wild. You know, Baki, it's not like we chose to live this way to be cool. Well, kinda. But what's not cool is saying you got those bruises from falling down the stairs. I think you got your ass kicked. Rio, you're not getting cold feet, are you? Huh? What do you mean? It means you're scared. Look at you shake. I don't know what you're talking about. Forget it. Huh? Let's just forget this guy. Okay? <laughs> Maybe these delinquents didn't have what it takes. Maybe it wasn't in their DNA. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Well, if that's I'm very really distracted by how shiny these people's skin look. But it's anime it world, like anything they'd ever seen before. <laughs> they didn't know what to make of it. Hey! Just uh, tell me one thing. What the hell are you anyway? <laughs> to be honest, there isn't really that much to tell you. Plus, I think we all know it's best if you don't get involved. This motley crew was instantly able to assess the fighting power of the opponent that was standing before them. I hope you all have a great day. Just stay away from me, and I'll stay away from you. <laughs> Sometimes that ability is even more critical than having the power to fight. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> no one went to say, nope, 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 nope. Survival instincts is more important. Mitsunari Tokugawa, the 11th generation head of the Tokugawa business empire, rules over the underground fight arena, the hallowed ground of martial arts. A man with deep knowledge of and great love for the martial arts and those who study them. So, what is it you did this time, Baki? And apparently hates Nothing. all the rules that the official of. ones have. Do you know who this man is? What kind of person you're about to meet? Guess I'm about to find out. <laughs> I'm the principal here, so usually I know what's going on at my own school. But what a surprise! A visit by the exalted Mr. Tokugawa! <sighs> oh, hey there, champ! Don't call me champ, all right? Now, why did you bring me here, old man? <laughs> ah, this kid! Principal, give us a moment alone, huh? Oh, uh, yeah, sure! So, how's the injury healing? The cast comes off in two or three days. But then, something tells me you didn't come to ask me about my health. <laughs> and sometimes the, the lip you know thing seems longer is, than the book. This burger, we know the lip thing isn't good. Is it a mouse trap? It's nitroglycerin. <laughs> this is a type of high what? explosive. Yeah, nitroglycerin, high explosives. Overkill. Can I, I yeah, can't eat it? Why did you bring it to a school? It's a crystallized formulation of nitroglycerin. Will girl, Back, uh, he's rich. Ago, was why not? Fluid that no amount of heat, or okay. Cold, or anything Shh, wheel girl, let him just carry around nitroglycerin. Century, a ship was a I think you theoretically could make that with what you get in most high school chemistry London. classes. Just as the I mean, you can technically. You have the right ingredients. It's the Bay of Biscay. Even the slightest tremor would have blown the whole ship sky high. Miraculously, the ship reached its destination safely, and the crew quickly set about unsealing the containers to check the cargo. And what they saw was something they'd never seen before. Beautifully crystallized nitroglycerin. And that wasn't the only time it happened. It said from that day on, Batches of nitroglycerin all over the world began crystallizing one after another. That's called synchronicity. <sighs> when matter and living beings and even ideas that seem to be completely unrelated undergo changes at the same time in the same way on a global scale. That's what I mean when I say synchronicity. Now, over the next few days, here in Japan, specifically, in Tokyo, some very dangerous men will converge. 
<laughs> and that's the plot of this arc. We're going to meet the five dangerous men now. Argathos oh. Prison, Tacoma, Washington, U.S. Huh. Careful. Oh, American criminals. Too close. Well, Maintain one of them is. Yes, one, one of them is. Yes, sure of them is. Yeah, weapon. here we go. This guy's a monster wielding lethal poison. Oh, man. Why did I have to pull this shift? Just stay alert. Dun, dun, dun. Henry, sir, here with the guard team. We've transported They're prisoner number 01777. This is going to end badly. Order. Good work. God, why do you think that, Wheel Girl? It's not like Baki <laughs> is a is as a, if you were to run Baki or a lot of other martial arts anime, you'd have to either a use Feng Shui, b use fight, or c use mutants and masterminds, or you, you know just mutants and masterminds. I want to taste defeat. <laughs> I want to taste defeat. Just then, the inconceivable happened. Oh, that's Get disappointing. The right away, sir. You ever heard of be playing possum? The enough times passed that they need to check. Clause three. After a hanging, the prisoner is to be left on the gallows for ten minutes. A doctor will then confirm that death has occurred, which completes the execution. Yeah. So when he stops struggling, you have to wait ten minutes. That's an actual USB you know, thing. So he's been up there for over 10 minutes. And he must be the best at playing possum if that's the case. <laughs> yep. Yep. Again, why I said it's good, it's a mastermind. He's got immunity strength over his strength. And then, yes, he just murders men with his big toe. Wait. He's just playing. Oh. The guy using a straight jacket, so I thought he just didn't have arms. No. It's always the same. You make it too easy for me. Will I ever taste defeat? <laughs> <laughs> so they split this arc into two seasons of 12 episodes, which I'm okay with. I, I, I'm kind of okay with splitting I mean, it or it could have been one season with Ladies 24 episodes, but I'm okay with I'll splitting it to two. Because it lets them gauge how much people are liking things? it. I'm good with what, however you present it. Yeah. Well, I just mentioned it because I like it. Also, yes, he's going to Tokyo, Wheel Girl. So a man's going to swim across the across the Pacific That's Ocean? not good. Bucky. There is much more I have to tell <laughs> Don't you. worry about it, Wheel Girl. It's just one crazy dude gonna swim from. And now we're in Glasgow, Scotland. In the. Cario's prison. That? You wish to taste defeat? Ha! Really? Those are your last words. <laughs> well, then let me ask you this, Doyle. Do you actually think you've achieved some kind of victory here? Because on where I'm sitting, it sure looks like these are the final moments of someone who's been defeated. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Face it, you're at death's door. You're about to have um, to granted, although I doubt that you'll enjoy it too much. It's time! <laughs> and for this man, I like to chair is a bad idea. Also, yes, we're in Scotland, if you couldn't tell by the accent, in Glasgow! That's a strong accent, boom, my boy! Yet, in U.S. law, there's a five-minute cooldown time. What's 
the matter, guys? Didn't you hear the alarm? Go ahead, draw your weapon. Can you use it against me? Will you even try? A man becomes no better than a senseless beast the first time that he wields a gun. I don't think you have what it takes to use your weapon and take me out. That's why I left the blindfold on. I'd rather not see what his eyes look like right now. Probably fine. If you don't I mean, yeah. See, so the thing is, wheel growth, the capillaries around the eyes would break first. So, it would hurt a lot, but, you know, you're just bleeding from near your eyes. Also, that poor doctor's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> that poor doctor's like, oh, thank God I'm alive! Meanwhile, at a military base somewhere. No, it's still him at the military base. Okay, so it's in Scotland. When I got the last letter that you sent, I just couldn't believe it. I thought, there's no way. And yet here you are in person, right on time. Exactly well, at 3 p.m. Going then to Tokyo. So he's taking a plane to Tokyo. That makes sense. I mean, the other guy technically could just be swimming to the coast. Okay. It was an island-based prison. And the mile somewhere else. Prison. An intercontinental ballistic missile base, or at least it was, but now it houses the very worst of the worst criminals. But Meanwhile in Russia, a, a man weighing well over 200-something pounds nature. crawled 100 meters up the a missile tube. The walls that make up this prison have okay, so we got Scottish, a Russian, and American. Who are the other two going to be? Rust. And more importantly, he used the cracks in the wall to climb up it, because it was smooth originally. His physical abilities are beyond extraordinary. If he hadn't gotten mixed up with the criminal elements, who knows just how many gold medals he would have brought home to the motherland. So you think about the, about the Olympics? Yeah, they, they wanted to use this guy who's got superhuman abilities to the Olympics. Garnet's facility is close. I know. If Sikorsky is headed there... I know. Garnet is in danger. Director, come here. Take a look at this. It's Garnet, the greatest athlete that Russia has ever seen. But what's left of him? Ah, damn! Just as I thought, Garnet might have had chance in the ring. But Sikorsky's a killer. He doesn't So yeah, Gar is the greatest Russian wrestler. He and he's been <gasps> fucked over. Heading east. Today's defeat. And yes, our third guy Guard. went over to he's murder a wrestler to the more. west, a few hours away, and then is hiking all the way to Japan through Siberia and Russia. Really, he has to just get through Kamchatka. Like I just lost everything in a hand of poker. There is that area there that connects Sorry, to... You have to leave that's a good connection point. Yeah, I know, but the point is he's going to Tokyo. So but he also specifically went to murder still, a wrestler. He's, in that high he's a mixed martial artist and he went to go fight a wrestler and the wrestler's like, else Dude, this isn't fair, you actually got kung fu and stuff. Where is this one? Oh, you'll see. This is a picture of the counselor who came to see Speck two years ago. <sighs> During the interview, Speck spoke quietly, so the counselor moved closer. Too close to the opening in the cell. By the time we called out a warning, it was too late. Speck only needed a second to put his plan into motion. He grabbed the counselor through the opening for the meal tray and punched him, and what you see there is the result. As for how he opened the cell, he ripped out the counselor's dentures and bent them into the right shape, and then he used the dentures God to pick damn. the lock. Uh, you said cufflinks, right? And I'll leave my belt too, just in case. I thought that you might see things my way. Oh! Oh, he's a fucking crazy sure, man! Really and he just fucking get close to the bent dentures into the shape of a lockpick. Okay! Yeah, I'll leave my question. belt behind and everything. 
just gonna stay if away from the crazy thing or challenges you just ignore him he's back there on the left okay during the interview keep against the far wall huh. by the way just forget that you have a black belt in karate uh -huh. the previous counselor the one in that picture was an all-american wrestling champ uh -huh. ah damn <laughs> the previous guy was a wrestling champ you're a black belt yeah don't 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 factor that in it's not gonna help I do want to know where this particular prison is. Something wrong? He's not there. Get back here, counselor. Now. Too late. Well, yep. Stop, Speck. Freeze. Look, look at him. You bastard. Pulls out the gold tooth. Rips out a man's gold tooth. <laughs> Tokyo now. Oh. This place is. You get what I'm laying down here, folks. I want to taste defeat. I want to taste it. defeat. You're 200 meters under the ocean. Blow you somewhere in the Speck is off ocean. The in, in, in a an escape pod. Uh, he's an American in an escape sub, 200 meters below the ocean. But it's impossible to swim yes. to the surface. It'd take five minutes. Let him try. He'll be dead in 30 seconds. Notify the Coastal Guard House anyway. There's so many things about me that you guards don't know. I wish we had spent more time together. For example, that you didn't know that I've been exercising without breathing for five minutes at a time. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> so yeah, he specifically trained himself to be he able to escape the prison. Died instantly. There's no way that he'll escape the death penalty this time around. Because yes. Still, to be able to kill over ten. And I found a guy Japanese. Did he use some Fair enough. martial art? No. It's like a gas. What do you mean? I heard he used poison gas or something that he'd hidden somewhere. I heard he's physically brutal as well. I know. Hard to believe he's barely over five feet tall. So yeah, the last guy's like a five two sure Japanese man. Safe? That'll deflect even the bazooka. Well, uh, the oh, I heard the Japanese are I can't believe are kind of short. Ryuko Yen probably has good leverage he's because just of the convict. Yep. Also he uses poisons to kill people. <gasps> Comfortable. So we got a guy with ridiculous but stamina. We got a guy with That's supernatural nice. climbing rest. capabilities. And we got a This ought to be easy for you. Out of all the gases on the planet Earth, what's the most poisonous? I said don't move. Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> the gun can't put the grass. Pointing a gun, fortified bulletproof glass. Although if you want to know the truth, to me, this is just like an ordinary pane of glass. Let's take this spot right here. Even if a bazooka can't penetrate this glass, I can create a tiny vacuum in this one spot. Take your hand off the glass now! The power mysteriously, of Yanagi, a vacuum's okay! It becomes just Great. like window glass. <laughs> See? Oh, Go on, try to shoot me. Vacuums. Okay, I'm in the safety off. And then he does this. Oh! Where is he? He also got superhuman speed to do that. What's the most poisonous gas? The answer is this. My apologies. In my desire to what taste the food, hell? I am heading for the capital. Humbly, Ryoku Yanagi. Yeah. In his desire to taste food, he wants to go to the capital. I've what? 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 He just he just braided his man's ear and caused his brain to fly out. For Tokyo, Baki. Yeah, somehow they think you know the them. Means, don't you? Yeah. Baki's strong enough that these five men who are this crazy all believe Baki can defeat them. That that's this entire episode, real girl. It's establishing what the arc is about. 
These five crazy badasses who all did these bullshit levels of thing all legitimately think Baki can beat them. It's called Singularity. <laughs> Five unrelated criminals. That's how you set up an arc. Spontaneously left the same you have terror. set up a Japanese arc. Baki. You know what that means, don't you? Dun dun dun. Let's recap. Huh? They're breaking out of prison to taste defeat? To come challenge me? Why? What the hell is that all about anyway? Baki, listen. He killed armed guards in the process of escaping. These men are really quite exceptional in many ways. You know what that means, don't you? Uh. <sighs> they have fighting skills well beyond the fiercest men. They're all experts in martial arts! And they're coming for me. Exactly. They're coming here to challenge you. Oh. Uh -oh. Wait. I don't get it. How does this bald man know? There's underground because he knows about the underground. Here in Tokyo. Secret martial arts. The dark underbelly of the fighting world. The best fighters from everywhere. It's an all-out war. Classic martial arts versus dark martial arts. The two fundamental cores of unarmed combat. Gramps, aren't you exaggerating a bit? Not even a little. I like how you can see the subtitles are slightly different in how they portray Baki, but they're very similar. Do you have you any have idea some who you're messing with? Just back off! I'm not gonna get into it with some amateur. Oh, you have no idea, dude. <sighs> you don't want a piece of this! Huh? <sighs> Razor blades? <sighs> what the hell's wrong with you, man? Metal implants? <sighs> So, Doyle's entire gimmick is, so that's the thing that's not as very clear in either the Japanese or the American. These guys use black martial arts, which refers to, basically, they implement criminal bullshit to their, uh, fighting. Where could it be? It's right here. This guy's gonna... So tell me, where can I find this Baki? Mr. Hiroshima! You're just incredible! Oh, you have no idea, dude. Hold still, you guys. Or that'll be our heads. <gasps> you see? Only a fool fights barehanded. You got that right. Okay. You about ready to take me to Baki? Jeez. If you want to win, the one thing that you need is to have the stomach to take your opponent out. You have to have guts. No fear. Of course, it helps to have a good knife. Personally, I never leave home without one. Lesson's over. Now let's go and meet this Baki guy. What? <laughs> Why would I come with you? I know you told me to stay away, but now I've got three times as many reasons why I can't. So come with me or... Look, just come with me, alright? <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I love this. Flexes making the cast oh, explode. Let's, let's go. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Holy fuck. I think I may have fucked up. <laughs> this is the guy we heard about? Well, that's underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, lame. My dad, I'll break a sweat. 
All right, Bucky. Get down on your knees now. I got a gun, Bucky. You think it's funny, you bastard? Well, let's get rid of these you don't go fools. straight to pulling out a piece. You got to ease into things like by easing a knife into his ribs. That's a machete I keep down my pants. This guy's actually serious about killing me. Uh, okay, I wonder how you have cut up your dick at this point. Then Probably there's a sheath in there, this, wheel this girl. This is my best move. <laughs> you may Whoa! have guts to kill with a knife, but when my fist is in your face, you can't handle it. Huh? Huh? Seriously? At your age, you're still playing with toys? This guy's got a fast mind. Alright, bro. You wanna play? I'll play. Yoo -hoo. Yoo -hoo. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is not that's simple. <laughs> Now that is underwhelming. Now that's underwhelming. And the sucker say, get you you're too slow. Okay, you sometimes are not working with us. <laughs> uh, we so fucked cool. up! I got this. <laughs> we fucked up. Yeah, that's right. What's it gonna be, Bucky? What do you think you're gonna hey, do? Hey Spec. Now, huh? <laughs> Hey, one of our five assholes are here! Dorian. D Dorian? Sikorsky. Sikorsky. Doyle. Doyle. Speck. Ryuko Yanagi. These men, which include one Japanese national, all broke out of prison at the same time. So far, no connection among them has been found. But there is one thing, one strange thing. Every last one of them left a message that they were coming to Tokyo. Sir! A word. Spec has been spotted, sir. How the hell did he get here so fast? Headquarters responded. I don't know! He did this with his bare hands? It looks like it was hit by a train. We that's someone that's made a lot of Street Fighter. Go down. Yep. Thing is, I didn't that was always the best bonus level in that game. Can you pick him up? 100% true. Anyone familiar? Oh, that's him! Tell me! What do you think you're gonna do now, Bucky? <laughs> Start the gunman's gonna die! I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I'm afraid the real bad guys have arrived. So well, you're at least the one of them, at least. One to make it here, huh? Hello! Holy Hello. shit, this is huge! Be good now, hand it over. Even a dope like you has to know that this isn't gonna do anything against a guy like me. Now. Give him the gun and flee! Should've brought a change of underwear. Really sure about that change of underwear. And no, this is, and it's like I said, he should have brought a machine gun as well. <laughs> Are you mad? It's just showing how tough he is. Yeah, just shot himself. Rumor has it that the best fighter in Tokyo is around here. They say it's some 17 year old punk kid. Sound familiar? Baki Hanma. <laughs> Even if there's no chance in hell of you defeating me, I owe you this much. Put her there. <laughs> that's nasty. Ah, oh, come on now, don't just drop it. I mean, that's the hand of someone that you held very dear. They gave you a hand in the past, didn't they? Why is this any different? <laughs> he killed one of his fucking friends. Pay <laughs> attention, would ya? <laughs> Tiger kick! Hands are meant to be held, right? So you ought to pick it up. 
and hold it to your cheek like this. You crying? I don't want to watch this. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Creepy. Yay! That guy's guy got the stupidest face of the five. Yeah, because he's fucking creepy. It should. Yay, more people to kill. His face. I didn't say anything about being creepy. So you're spec, huh? Headquarters respond. The escapee spec has just been taken into custody. You okay, kid? Sure. Detective, come here. We found what we think is Officer Canada's hand. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then Spec just snaps the handcuffs. Man. Freeze! I only came here today to introduce myself to you. Step away, or we'll open fire! Spec is not rushing into the fight yet. Yeah, yeah, he just wanted to fuck with Baki a little bit. Trust me. For now, a real handshake. Yeah, the guys will have their own way of giving him a loving introduction. That wasn't lovely. That Don't just made it. That he just killed sure a friend of mine. Exactly. To him, that's probably being oh, nice and loving. One last thing. Because if it was, it would have been two people that he loved. I just love Spec. He's such an asshole. And it's like, no, let's, okay, now let's shake honestly. And I'm still going to sucker punch you again. During his escape from an underwater prison 200 meters beneath the sea, Spec killed one counselor. And upon reaching the coast, he killed another five men at a guard station. That's all we know so far. The big question is why five death row inmates are... And here's Baki's dad. An explanation has yet to be found for why... That's a whole lot of muscle! Men yes. Also, yes, this is how we're introducing Baki's dad in the new anime. Just, case, just straight up doing... Uh, what's the martial possible. artist? Hopefully they'll find out what's going on. Van Damme split! Yeah, he's just started doing a Van Damme split. Chief of Police Investigations. What are your thoughts about all this? Well, casually watching TV. Oh, more about the convicts and their intentions, I can't say much. Well, we need to watch the Van Damme series that they made recently. Well, not recently. It's been a few years now, but it's good. The FBI is peerless. The FBI won't be able to figure this out. Not even in a hundred years. And yeah, this is Baki's dad. Yujiro Hanma. Baki's father, a.k.a. the world's strongest man. He has enough power to destroy an entire army with his bare hands. He's not the creature. He's feared by martial artists and politicians the world over. Yep. I never thought we'd meet again. Not like this. But I have to say that I'm happy you came to see me, Mr. Yanagi. You're getting old, Shibukawa. You've lost what made you interesting. You've lost everything, it appears. If I knew that you'd end up like this, I would have finished you off back then I'm getting when I had the chance. Too bothered by the mismatch of what they're saying and what yeah, the fuck they're saying. Oh, wheel girl, shh. What? Wheel girl, it's not something to complain about here. I'll turn up the subtitle. Goki Shibukawa, the founder of Shibukawa Jiu Jitsu. Oh, yeah, that'll make it now way more 70 fun. 70 years old, he's a living legend who can send any strong man flying with his technique. It's a known crazy as dude. Aiki. So, Shibukawa is. Uh, he shows up in the arc Sage was reviewing, and he's just, you know, a old dude who's a judo and a keto master. <laughs> Cool. But he also knows some other stuff. Martial artists are so naive. He's if the guy that if you pull up, me, I think you can pull up a thing pretty easily of keto me. versus, I think, you like, simply have to come uh, dude, wrestling. Like this. I guess he has heard the news known. about who this guy is. Do you wish to continue? Face it. You can't win. Dude, you snuck attack him, threw a boiling teapot at his mm. fucking hands, and you think that means nice. you win the fight. It's cozy, and there's plenty of fresh No, it's not that he thinks he wins the fight, this he just great thinks, my temporary base of think, operations. are you sure this is stupid? No, are you sure you're going to beat me? If only there 
was better food here. Just throw it all out. Everything we know about prisoner confinement. All of you need to stop thinking of him as human. He's different than anything we've ever encountered before. Think of him as a savage beast with unearthly strength and keen intelligence. And you must never Not forget wrong. that the pride of the Metro Police is on the line right now. He is in fact correct. Over to the, the man did just the swim up 200 cars. meters. That's all. That's all. Please put the clip back on. The echo was really bad. bad. What like the that. fuck was that? Just put the subtitles back on. Echoing is bad. Echoing. Favor, you think you could go. train for next week's match? Now, nah, well, hopefully, we'll go to the bitch about them. Someone for one week won't make you stronger. I'll stop. It's not that simple to master Lord judo. Fury say. But here's some advice. Oh, I would have happily kept going. If you know you can't win, at least yeah. injure your opponent. I do like that the guy points out. If you know you can't beat your opponent, at least go for an injury. Your opponent will remember. Yeah, that's the old mentality of I bled on you. You now have to clean yourself up. The one who's a beast. Oh boy. But for guys like Also. Uh, yeah. Wait. I didn't need to see an old man piss. It's got steam coming off of it and it's flooding the toilet. Impressed. Uh, but Spec, how did you die? What? What? What are you doing here? Main vein ain't gonna drain itself, you know? Not to mention. I was feeling hungry, and I found these steam buns at this cute little market. Here. How the what the heck? Hell? I'd rather take his hospitality than than nice. try to fight offers this. Offers you something it's you accept crazy gratefully. Man. Wheel girl, wheel girl. It's cold. Just, yeah. just, just let it happen. Let him force feed you a bun. When did he do this? <laughs> I didn't even hear a sound. Notify headquarters. Ah, uh, right. Uh -uh. Hey, where are your manners, guys? Entering someone's residence without permission? Don't you worry, I'm not going anywhere. Now, get out while you still can. <laughs> like to give everyone a chance. I just want to pay for my stuff and get going. Come on. Uh, 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 so yeah, God, spec he went over to a convenience store. Stole the Chinese buds and murdered the clerk, and then came back to prison. <sighs> Katsumi Orochi, adopted son of Dopo Orochi, who founded the combat karate dojo Shinshin Kai. He's now taken over as its leader. Within the karate world, he's considered a lethal weapon. Yeah, so the Shinshin Kai Karate School. Kaio Retsu, a virtuoso said to be the best in the history of Chinese martial arts. In the Maximum Tournament, he nearly pushed champion Baki Hanma to defeat. And now we get the bad CG fight stuff right there for a second. <sighs> so we just met second place of the last arc. Uh, yeah. Ken, yeah, he's the second place guy at the last arc. Uh, yeah. Ain't the worst CGI I've seen. It, it's not bad CGI. It, it's very obvious CGI is a thing. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Also, I do love that he uses his hair to grapple and then- Oh. I think the switch between something I would see in a video game based on an anime and back to regular anime. Minutes. All right, well, if you weren't able to tell by now, I fought this man, and I lost. He beat me with a single strike. Long ago, Dopo Orochi, 
My father said that he had no right to be a teacher if modern karate couldn't beat ancient martial arts. So he expelled himself from his own dojo and left Shinshinkai. But my answer to what karate means is different than his. I won't be bound by history. Which is why I accepted Kaioretsu's offer to fight. Four thousand years. For all that time, the Chinese have honed their fists in combat. Unbelievable, isn't it? From the time when part of our country was still underwater, his ancestors studied how to defeat others. Now, the Shinshinkai Dojo will redefine Chinese martial arts. Right here, we'll establish what modern karate truly means. That's my vision for the future of our And dojo. hey, Doyle! <laughs> Sorry, Dorian. Not Doyle, Dorian. I've hey, it's Dorian! <laughs> Hello, I'm here to fuck you up. See, you managed to swim. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love the giant poster on the wall of Orochi karate chopping a tiger. <laughs> Shijin guy. Better anymore. I want to see. If things go badly, these two are gonna be dead. I don't care who you want to see. No shoes in the dojo, old man. <laughs> no shoes in the dojo. You have to forgive me. It's been a few years. Did you just kick me while throwing your shoes at me? Yes. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. You alright? I just really that know. man's a giant! Wheel Girl, Specs also a giant. Two of them are They're giant Americans. One's a tiny Japanese man, one's a giant Russian, and one's an average sized Scottish person. And he just tried to tra strangle somebody with a belt. The suits are going about to watch this man get bad so he can get murdered. He threw the floorboard that Retsu Sensei shattered. She had died. Cut to me, Sensei. Well, well, well. If Dopa Orochi is the one who taught this kid how to fight, then I'm really looking forward to meeting him. Also, yes, he ripped out a chunk of floorboard that got cracked. And whipped at the guy's throat. Out of here after that. That's gonna fucking suck getting that removed. Get back to the middle of the dojo. Second <laughs> place is insane. <laughs> Such loyalty. It's so touching. <laughs> Crushing Such loyalty hug. Is so touching. I love it. And then he pulls out a hair. Retsu Sensei got first blood! You're wrong. Look closer. The hair. <laughs> A worthy opponent. That was well fought. We're not done yet. I take it you must be the trainer of these boys hovering in the background. Well, fighting in the heart of the enemy's camp is not the best strategy. I love this. I'm just gonna have some booze so right now. Time, then. I look forward to the day you and I meet again. Until then. <laughs> So yes, he pulled out some booze to sip it and then used it to cause a fire. Get away. He's activating Hagokaten. Yep. I do love that we basically see how each of these guys are trying to fuck with Baki and Baki's acquaintances. 
Only one is sick. They're both trying to get introduced in a nice, slangy way. Running long jump, pull ups, and last the 1500 meters. I think the dude's serious. Isn't he always? Now that I think about it, I've never had my physical fitness tested before. All right, group two, get ready. You're up next. So that line down there's the goal. On your marks. Go. Uh, the only reason I'm not wearing shorts is so I can give the other guys a chance. What? Bucky, <sighs> run. Oh! <laughs> he literally destroyed the ground. Well, that Second, I thought he just went. What the hell was that? Whoa! Look at this. Uh, There's a huge hole in the track. The ground must have been really loose there. Boy, a maintenance crew is really sloughing off. And that's how a legend gets started. <laughs> Look how high it went. Yeah, but he bounced it. Nice bounce back. Amazing. He almost sent that ball into orbit. Um, that's not how orbits work. 21 meters. Interesting technique. <laughs> well, it gets points for altitude. Dude, it's called the running long jump. Well, you're stopped now, so go on. Jump already. <sighs> What? So, could you imagine if he had some run start? Still, that was pretty awesome, right? Oh, word. Oh, oh, word. Oh, oh, word. Oh, he can still get a measurement. He can still get a measurement. I want to point out the fact still. that he did 21 yeah, meters by uh, bouncing the ball, next. which is ridiculous. When everyone else pretty much threw it. Do I look like I can? Ever find a girlfriend? No, of course not. Look at me, dude. What's the matter? Why did you drop off? Well, because uh, I did 15. Yeah, right. Did anyone see you do 15? I, uh, I don't know. Did you boys see him do it? I uh, saw him hanging there. But as for seeing him do 15 pull-ups. Yeah, just as I thought. Nobody saw it. Do it again. I am waiting. Everybody pay attention. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. What is wrong with you, Baki? That's enough already. You missed the sand pit. You destroyed the track and the pull up bar. And I am a team teacher too. Right. Stupid. You <laughs> haven't done the test <laughs> right. I love this. These physical abilities remain unmeasured. But then, how do you measure the immeasurable? <laughs> um, <laughs> by napping meters. some strict asshole. I'm gonna nail this wheel girl. Wheel girl. He was. He did for the long jump. The the running long jump better than good, everyone else. Hanma. He's got slashes. At this rate, you're headed for a big fat F. So what are you gonna do about it? Huh? <laughs> slap the slap the strict rules out of you. All right. Huh? How fast do I have to run to beat the record, the world record? <laughs> and why is it that you are asking me this? I'm just curious. Think you can beat three minutes, 26 seconds? <laughs> How about if I beat that time, then you got to give me a passing grade for all the other tests. Not only that, but I'll give you a perfect score on everything for the rest of the year. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. For that, I'll try it too! Okay, runners to the starting line! Three minutes, 26 seconds, huh? Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. Hmm? Uh, 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 huh? Damn. 
Yep. Talk about ripped. Paging Dr. Beefcake. Paging Dr. Beefcake. <laughs> okay. Somebody's gay. All right. Runners ready. <laughs> I just love runs. that line. Get set. <laughs> so four laps would make the one Is mile. Stopwatch broken. He's on a record-breaking pace for the 400 meters. <laughs> Now the teacher's impressed! Hang on. What now am I he's seeing? actually paying attention. Unless there's something wrong with this stopwatch or me, he just ran the fastest 800 meters ever. <laughs> Great! My muscles are starting to warm up! Oh dear! He's actually going faster! And then it happened. Just as he passed the 1,000 meter mark. <sighs> Muscle cramps, it seems. Baki had done running work before, but only to get stronger, not faster. He'd always run with an image in his mind of straining against a great resistance. And that image had become ingrained in his muscles. On this day, this is what his muscles were seeing. And they rebelled. Look, you want to just here, Finally. You're dead last, Baki. All righty. Dismissed, everyone. Oh. See you later. <laughs> you started off way too fast. <laughs> Baki flunked. <laughs> uh, despite Baki that, passed. considering. He beat the world record for 800 meters, guys. I'm gonna nail this one. What is wrong? But he failed in the end, so nobody gives a fuck. Also, I love his dog. Look at that dog. Look how cute it is. <laughs> Dark for me to tell. Really. It's adorable. <laughs> Just an old, old dog. I thought you gonna die. Old bloodhound. Yeah, an old bloodhound. He's so cute. Well, quite an appetite. Should probably meet Ladybug. Yeah, the appetite of a bull moose and the taste of a gourmet. And just lost. It certainly isn't cheap. And we just lost. Kanji Igaru. Everything's gone to yeah, yeah, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'm getting it. I I heard you guys the first time. Uh. uh okay. What is this? And. First up, gotta leave the party, leave the party, then I gotta rejoin. And then I rejoin the party. And then I reestablish the video. And the video should be back now. Yeah, it's back. Good. Let's get started. Yep. Matic Pro Wrestling Superstar. Baki eliminated him in the third round of the Maximum Tournament. Nice little toy you've bought for yourself, Agari. Got a cigarette, Mr. Chairman? Help yourself. So this guy is who Baki fought in the last arc for the third round. For a former world judo champion, he doesn't have very good manners, does he? That's all right. Call it the arrogance of youth. Or call it the arrogance of strength. Long as he keeps winning, it's fine with me. Yeah, whatever. When's the match, little man? Well, when would you like it to be, Tatioka? If there's a ring, and an opponent, and a big enough paycheck, I'll fight any time. Right now, if you want. You just give the word and I'll be there, little man. 
Yes, but you do realize, don't you, that none of the fighters in my arena get paid? Yeah, but that's different. Your tournaments are famous. A win there is a huge boost to a fighter's reputation. And that there is money in the bank. Bold talk for an amateur just coming up the ranks. Well, I guess I get that from my manager. You can blame him. <laughs> I love this. Ah, it's a flat top. The and then the Russian. I say the Russian what? Here. what? And he used his knuckles to cut the guy's face. A fighter who fights only on cue should not call himself a martial artist. A match is a match and nothing more. Only a mere rehearsal. You can rehearse all you want, but it means nothing. It's not to be confused with the real thing. I'm calling an ambulance! <laughs> so you've come! You're Sikorsky, aren't you? It might be best to talk somewhere else. It hurts! <laughs> God, it hurts! <laughs> Careful. It's heavy. Hey. Yeah? <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> nice punch for an old man. What? No! No! I think the guy should have learned after watching what happened to the young man. We're uh, ready to go when you are. They're waiting for you. You're gonna pay for that, Sikorsky. Just wait. By the time I'm through with you. <gasps> You're gonna pay for being an asshole to me, Sikorsky. Double drop kick. And then... Death punch. Well, no, the cut punch that he's been doing. Dispatch, you there? We're gonna need the um. police. Tell him to hurry! Take away the screaming crowd and the bell. And there's not much left, is there? It's being wrestling staged. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's you supposed to be Judo as well. You're going. He's referencing Judo as well with that. Feeling. And just normal martial arts tournaments. Speck broke out! He broke out of his cell again! How in the world did he get out? I'll be back! <laughs> I fucking love that he just leaves. Oh, I'll be back! Don't worry! This arena, it reeks of blood that hasn't even dried yet. My Tokugawa blood has been restless for days now, but tonight should bring me some answers for those who seek victory or defeat. This is the place to be! Huh? Huh? Five are here and ready to talk. You summoned them all? Me? No, my friend. These four were drawn here like moths to the flame by something emanating from the blood-soaked ground of this arena. And by something in so if it's not clear, blood. the arena is supposed to be sand. Jesus, now, when you see them all begin, standing side by side, you're like, you. wow. So tiny. Well, keep in mind, the one guy's like 5'2", two, so we get to here. realize that Dorian's like 6 foot. And that means all the others are like 7 foot. But speaking for myself, I'm wondering what makes you think you have the right to ask any of us a question. 
Maybe just the fact that I own this fighting arena. Is that right? Then that makes us trespassers, doesn't it? Well, in that case, I guess we shall have to answer your question then. Yes, now that's more like it. Because you have brought me here. At least I came at your invitation. I sought a place to heal, and here is where I ended up. That's really all there is to it. I think it was the scent that drew me. Anybody who lives to fight knows about this arena. To compete against warriors and not just competitors. That's why I'm here. Excellent! Now you'll be happy to hear that as a reward for your having such outstanding DNA, I'm gonna give you all the precious gift of knowing the taste of defeat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, but I don't need you giving me any gift. These four wonderful guys right here are gift enough. <laughs> no <way>. All <laughs> four, all five of them want to fight each other. No, stop, stop it! Hey, old man. Hey, Bucky. Bucky. Can we get this thing started? Cause I kind of like to wrap it up quickly. Got school tomorrow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's good? Thanks for sending someone all that way to fetch me. Dopo! I brought some friends along. Ooh! Dopo Orochi. Dopo Orochi, the martial arts guy. The guy that came in second place in the last arc. And the old dude that the guy threw the teapot at. The guy is with the iPad. Yeah, he's Dopo. He's the father of the guy that got the wood piece thrown at him. But oh. more importantly, that voice, that mmm, that gravel. Dofo Orochi, also known as the God of War, founder of the Shinshin Kai Shinkai School Kuro of Karate, Karate, but currently on leave from the school, doing training in the field. Kaoru Hanayama, named boss of the Hanayama gang at the age of 15, Japan's number one brawler. His credo is, no weapons, no training. Hmm. As you know, there recently occurred a martial arts tournament featuring 38 different fighters. It was held right here in this arena. I have heard it described as the largest, most competitive, most definitive, and most exciting tournament to be held in the modern era. In fact, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say right here and now, for the record, that I honestly believe it to have been the single greatest tournament in the history of the martial arts. And who was the winner of this epic competition? None other than this young man right here, Baki Hanma. <sighs> However, all that being said, I have grave doubts that the five of you place much value on tournaments of any kind, even one as significant as that one clearly was. You, Sikorsky. Didn't you say that a match is just a match and nothing more? A mere rehearsal, not to be confused with real combat. You suggested that a fighter who fights only on cue has no right to call himself a martial artist. Actually, I think there might be something in what you say, Sikorsky, and that's the reason why I brought you all here, to put it to the test. It's true. <laughs> a tournament lacks the element of uncertainty that's found in real life. And that's the true test of a fighter. How he handles the unexpected, the deadly threat that can suddenly appear at any moment from any direction. Now, if the five of you are wondering why you've been chosen for this contest, it's because each of you has expressed a desire to taste defeat. And I'm quite sure that any one of your opponents is more than capable of giving you what you desire. What do you say? Let's just do it already. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. All this real life and tournaments and whatever. Hell, all I want to know is when do we start fighting? How about right here, right now? No, it should happen in your daily life where you least expect it, like the kitchen. With a pot of boiling water, perhaps? Just name the time. Point is, it can be any time. Uh... <laughs> so, to recap the rules... The only rule is that there are no rules. Each of us is trying to eliminate one of you, or vice versa. That's really all there is to it. 
To hell with the place, the time, or any kind of rules. When you have to fight, you fight whenever, wherever. Whether you're eating, sleeping, screwing, taking a dump. That's what real combat's about. It can happen at any time. It could happen right now. Yes, any of you five can try to take down any of the other five once combat begins. Perhaps combat's already begun. Indeed, the game has begun. As of right now. Where, any place. When, any time. Who, any opponent. Rules, none. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm out of here. Got an early day tomorrow. Night. <laughs> well then, if the match or whatever we're calling. <laughs> and that's our main character. Says, okay. So that's the premise of this arc. Yeah. yeah. Well, then fuck this. I'm out. Wait, what? No, I'm not out of the arc. I'm just going to bed. Like, I gotta leave the session. Yeah. Any one of them would make a worthy opponent. This sort of the fate system. What exactly? Okay, if this was a clips phase, what would we be looking at? Well, I mean, these are obviously or clips phase. Both they're obviously, a, they're obviously Olympians. Fell. What the hell is well, going on? Here? Yeah, they're, they're, everybody's just an Olympian, basically. We'll and then normally humans are flats. But in Fate, it's basically all do. these characters have, you know, using uh, base raiders as an example. What they all have extraordinary. In their fighting skill. So against a normal person, they roll that d6. And rolling a d6 is huge in fate. I'm sorry rather than rolling a fate deck. Reaching out too soon, my friend. This is just fine. I can pay you back for what you did to my dojo. So when do you want to start? Scratch that. Looks like it's already begun. Let's yeah. See. Thank you again for the other day. <laughs> oh, I see. You have already made each other's acquaintance. Well then, no reason we can't get the ball rolling right now. But yeah, it's, it, this is definitely a fate thing or a mutants and masterminds thing because there's a shit ton of usage of fate points to do bullshit. And the GM giving compels. Like, the GM's like, you're in your arena. So you, what do you do? And then the player says, I tell him that he needs to take off his shoes. And the player's like, okay, Jim's like, okay, here's a fate point for that. And the player's like, why am I getting, Sorry, and he punches you in the face. What? Oh, you, fuck, really? Yeah. Myself. Sneak attacks you by throwing his shoes at you. Worth it. Yeah. Wax on, wax off. Yep. Of course, the perfect A master of Mr. Miyagi. That's right. It's a circular defense combining multiple blocking techniques. Known as the King of Blocks. Arrows, guns, flamethrowers, whatever you got, bring it. It's basically a perfect defense against range attacks. Did you really think we were done? Oh. Man, that was a mean punch. I still remember the way it sounded. Slice. Slice. Oh. Like carving meat. Yeah, a punch like that's gonna leave a mark. Okay, so now what? You want more of the same? <laughs> This really the guy who messed up your face, boss? Uh, a death row inmate, huh? Yeah, right. What a joke, huh? <laughs> you wanted to taste a feed, right? Wasn't that thing. the idea? Well, here you go, buddy. Yeah. Bon appetit.
Like, Clip Series wouldn't really be good for Baki. Because, except once. for the one character in Doyle with his mods, but that's basically Once just a bunch of stunts. There, we can boil him or burn him up to you. <laughs> Pick him up. Bring the car around. <laughs> I love it. And then you get this thing, which of course, could just then you see the smirking like, oh, he's playing with them. That's not good. Yep, I figured it was completely obvious. Oh, yep. I love this. It's a very special wire. You see, the history of mankind has been one of unremitting forward progress. And that's why we have so many wonderful gadgets today. I love this. Science is continuously making things stronger, faster, heavier or lighter, bigger or smaller, able to go farther. It was science that made this wire what it is. Thin enough to be almost invisible, yet strong enough to be all but unbreakable. And for whom was it developed, this remarkable, almost magical wire? For magicians, perhaps, to help them deceive and baffle their audience? Hardly. It was developed and created expressly for criminals. The fact is, we outlaws have always had a certain portion of the scientific community squarely in our pockets, keeping us on the cutting edge of technology. If you'll pardon the expression. This comes at a price. For example, this wire goes for tens of thousands of dollars per meter. It's really quite extraordinary. An yeah. aramid carbon fiber titanium composite. Used so it's a carbon fiber titanium wire that he uses to cut people. Only four microns thick. But with I can see it work. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, it's 100% fake. It Basically, this really guy's got, you know... Unlike Doyle, who uh, got implants, Dorian is using gadgets. So he's got a stunt, which is called Tech Gadgets, plus other things. And he implements them into his fighting style. If you're saying that martial artists gotta know all about science and microns and stuff nowadays, then I guess you and me are out of luck, Retsu. How very impressive. I see that you've already managed to stem the bleeding by applying pressure. Well done. Ready for round two then, Grandmaster? <sighs> Funny thing is, I did some spear hand training years ago. Hurt like hell. Slamming my fingers into those bamboo posts. Can't remember how many times I broke or dislocated them. Made me start to wish I didn't have any damn fingers. Cause then I could go around punching as hard as I wanted. Fuck you! Stump punch! Stump knife for the win. I guess I finally got my wish. Yeah, so that's that's just straight spending a fate point. Uh, you know, like, oh yeah, I have this injury? Okay, I'm gonna use it to do this. What? I'm going to use it to punch him in the face in a surprising manner. Yeah, okay. Now that was exhilarating! And he ran off to go get his hand reattached because that's the thing you can do in modern world. Like, yeah, if it's not fast enough. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it was also cut perfectly with micron thin wire. Yeah. And this is Japan in the modern era. So, what do you want to do now, anyway, boss? Also, I like that this guy just put a sucker that he was sucking on into Shikorsky's mouth. Poor Shikorsky is like, ah, oh, I can taste it. I can taste ineptitude. Yep. I love this. <laughs> so of course he's like, really? <laughs> Boss, did you just shoot him with a gun? Fuck it, take whatever advantage you can get. Pretty much.
you a lack of blood should be concerning. How long are you gonna keep up this act? I like how he figures out immediately it's an act. You wear a bulletproof vest everywhere you go. Spits the tape at the guy. Punches that and guy. In that ass. case, when he was out, why not just shoot him in the head? There's the candy. Or is it a bouncy ball? It's not a good idea. I mean, I think the guy was figuring out that it was a bulletproof vest when there was no blood, and he was just. He was like, oh, okay, fine, we'll fucking do this. My men will take you on. Because remember, he did fire five shots, probably assuming he wasn't wearing a bulletproof vest, and he's like, oh. Oh. Actually, six shots. I give up. There, you see, I'm bowing to you. Yep, I'm his femoral artery is been cut. Completely at your mercy. Good. Now, beg. What do you think I'm doing? I'm admitting defeat and begging for mercy. Hmm. You win, all right? I can't compete with your power or your stamina or your speed or your cunning or your toughness or any of it. Look, I know it's asking a lot, but let me go, will you? Please, you've got to let me live. Also, he's got the cauliflower ear that wrestlers have. Yep. You're not asleep. Hunt yourself, cinder bastard. You're not even going to avenge the deaths of your pathetic goons? <laughs> So of course, it's weird. You would do or say anything to save your skin. Probably even lick my ass when nobody was looking. That's gonna be a hell of a hammer. It's time the world saw you for what you really are. No, no way. Please don't. Just relax. No need to hide it from me. Shoulder chop. And decapitation. Cut the jaw. And then he puts down pick up a dumbbell. I said it's whipping them at the guy. Well, his arms are broken. Too bad when we were so close to a real breakthrough. <laughs> and now he'll piss on him. Yeah. Humiliation. <sighs> yep. That's how we establish how bad people are bad. They pee on you. Or in the case of spec, pees so much that it floods a urinal. Like, holy Those shit, spec. That's impressive. Yeah, how long were you holding that in for? She knows about Baki's participation in tournaments. Also, maximums. this is Baki's girlfriend. Let's see. Surprise. Will she live or will she die? Never thought you'd ask me out on a date. Well, it's yeah. a little awkward. Spoilers, she lives. With you living right next door and all. <laughs> so Unexpected. what you're saying is you've thought about asking me out before. Eh, I suppose there really isn't much of a way for these guys to fuck with them anymore. They already got all of the people close to them other than... I mean, they've only got one person, which was the cop that he was friends with. So things come easy to you. 
Hmm? Well, to be fair, technically the cop just got his hand cut off. Because I think he shows up in a later arc. I forget. I, I just know that the hand was somebody that Baki knows. But I don't remember if it's a minor character that only showed up like once in the background or something. Let's see, looking how thick the guy's arms are, with all the scars, you think maybe you don't want to mess with them? Whoa, you're pretty ripped, dude, you work out. Anyway, like I said, we're doing this survey, so if you don't mind, could you take out your wallet and let us see what you got in there? Actually, even if you do mind, take it out. We made a poor choice. What do you say, guys? We good? Huh? Um, yo, man. Uh. Oi! <clears throat> A nice circle spin. Let me fix that for you. You okay? Let me fix your hat, your shirt. Yeah. No sense to be uncivilized. I, I do like that. Yeah, that's the big. That's also the big difference between the dark martial arts and the normal martial arts. The dark ones go out and seek the trouble, whereas the light ones, you know, try and avoid basically beating the shit out of people. Unless they're bored, and it will be really hilarious. Yep. And then we see Baki just being friendly with his girlfriend. Yeah, look at them. They're cute. Nothing bad about to happen in his. What? No, wheel girl. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Wheel girl. Look. I mean, it's not like there's gonna be a bunch of androids underneath them trying to shot sh shoot energy beams straight up. Um. When did that anime, happen? I think. Uh, Dragon Ball ref. Dragon Ball Z reference. I mean, but Chi Chi's fine. <laughs> He's a bit too strong. <laughs> I, I love that. Baki's lightest grip is like, crunch, crunch. Oh god, my hand! My hand! Please stop, Baki! <laughs> well, considering the fact that when he tried to, you know, start sprinting from a dead stop, he literally tore up concrete with the pressure he produced. Let, let's be honest. I love He's a little strong. Yeah, and look, it's Spec. So this is a day later. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna quickly pause. Let's take a quick pause. Shorties episodes tend to be. They're twenty-minute episodes, real girl. They're decent length. Wait, how long are they? Twenty-minute episodes. Huh. I'm seems to go fast. Well, yeah, we've gone through four episodes though, real girl. So we've been here for an hour. And some change, but we're also skipping. Uh, we're also skipping over the you know opening credits. And really stuff. dumb stuff. Well, yeah. they, they also do a recap of the previous episode. So kind of like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, which if you look at the time, if you look here, we go down here, we can see that eats up about one minute and forty seconds, and the credits start. Uh, hey, anime credits are usually like two three minutes. Yeah, the credits start at about uh, 21 minutes, 45 seconds in. And oh, cool. then go till 2.30, so that's about a minute and 45 seconds in total. Yeah, uh, yep, uh, da, 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 da. I just wanted to give everybody a quick, you know, one or two minute break, etc. I thought that was a good way to handle that. I got what I need. Yep. Exactly. Yay! Claps all around. Now let's go kill somebody. I mean martial arts people. I mean kill. Martial arts kill, martial arts kill. At the end of the day, what really matters is martial arts kill. Right, Kiri? Yep. We'll oh, probably fuck. also do King and Ashura at some point. 
Probably. Uh, it's interesting. I, I think it's a bit uh, purple prosy. Baki has that too, but it handles it better.